Hey there, I am Pops. I'm talking about Black Mirror Season 6. This is Episode 4. It's called Maisie Day. I give you my thoughts on that. And uh, I have to tell you, I've, I'm a latecomer to the uh, Black Mirror universe, so try not to beat me up too bad on different little Easter eggs and hidden gems and things like that that are in these episodes that I'm missing. Feel free to hit me up with those in the comments so I could uh, dive a little deeper and enjoy it for what it uh, is meant to be. Maisie Day is uh, an interesting episode because I'm not sure who I'm supposed to be rooting for. Like it does a really good job of creating a moral conundrum because I don't necessarily like any of the characters all that well. I will say that um, there's a film uh, with Jake Gyllenhaal that is called Nightcrawler. And I was kind of, it's, you know, it's about a photographer and, and, and things like that. They ended up doing crime scene stuff. And then ultimately, because of the um, money that's at, at stakes here, he ends up manufacturing crime scenes by committing crimes. He's the first one there because he did the crime, right? This, this centers around the paparazzi, right? And taking photography of TV stars and that kind of thing. And there's a, there's a quick little shot early on where the person is antagonizing the star to create conflict. And I thought to myself, see, there's no real good player in all this. And the main character, um, her, her name is Bo. And she and she's fine. She is a fine. She, the performances are great. I, I don't. I don't. I don't really have any major issues with any of the, the execution elements of the of the show in any way, shape, or form. Um, I just don't know that I care whether or not Bo, because Bo's having like, Bo's like a little old to be having like massive financial problems for no reason. Like we're not really sure why she can't get multiple jobs or do different things to get herself out of poverty because it's not really portrayed that she's. You know, she's not like a drug addict or an alcoholic. And like, she's just dead dirt poor, and she's feeling guilty because of some of this kind of stuff. She decides to quit. There's a there, and there's this a weird. I assume they're going for sort of like a like an incel stereotype with this roommate who's like this California soy boy who has like the therapist gave him cue cards because he can't handle confrontation and all of that. Um, that's probably like it's, the the character is like totally irrelevant i don't even understand why we're bothering because it doesn't help me understand Bo a whole lot better but as i move forward though i have to be careful because i don't want to get into spoilers too soon so i'll let you know but basically the general presence is that there's a character who is a who's a major star her name is Maisie day and we see her basically having like a drunken druggy stupor kind of moment in a car and there's an incident and all the things that surround her basically just like going into isolation. And then the paparazzi are putting out sort of like um, a $300,000 photo bounty, get a photo of her um, where she is showing her like at rehab or showing her, you know, in a drunken stupor or whatever it may be. And Bo decides I got to do this. And she's just super clever with how she kind of leans into this, and how she's going to figure out how she can get herself this photo. So you end up with this moral thing, like who is the bad person? Do you feel bad for the celebrity? Cause they've gone through this bad time. They've made this mistake. I mean, they're leading this like charmed life, like seriously, or the paparazzi who are basically just snakes trying to, they're like the, they're like the leech it, the lamprey, I mean, those little, those, those creatures that suck onto the shark. And it's like, you know, you don't have one without the other. So that's kind of the general gist of the episode. I did enjoy it. I will not consider it something I'm going to sit through and rewatch again, even though I will admit I might rewatch the last half of the episode, which I'm going to get to now, um, because I thought that it did such a good job of twisting and turning and then kind of what it pays homage to. So if you've never seen this, and I definitely would encourage you to try to avoid looking anything up or any spoilers on this one. Cause if you really want to get a good effect, this one actually has a rewarding twist, even though it kind of comes out of left field. Don't didn't see this coming. So that's my, that's right, my last little spoiler warning for you in that kind of thing. So with that said, Maisie day, so what happens? Well, she's filming this movie in the Czech Republic and she's going out on this binger basically. And for some reason, I forget what she's, what she's missing, but she's going out in her car and she ends up like she's like hallucinating the whole thing. She ends up driving over someone, hit somebody, right? So she thinks she's killed somebody. Police are involved. She kind of sees a little bit of like some roadblocks. And jump jumping back and forth with Bo, we know that Maisie basically has just gone AWOL. No one knows where she is. Well, come to find out, 
she's in this this very exclusive Hollywood elite rehab center, right? And they find their way, her and some friends, the other paparazzi. She's kind of civil with the one, but he's ignorant and realized that the other paparazzi put a tracker on his motorcycle. It's it's all contrived nonsense. I, I just didn't care about any of that. It doesn't really matter. All you're trying to do is trying to figure out what is actually going on with Maisie. And does that give us another moral conflict that we should be discussing, debating, and thinking on and, and pondering about whether or not the paparazzi, is it worth it or not? Is it worth them jumping the fences and breaking and entering to get into this rehab? It's like, there's just such a, the paparazzi are portrayed well in that accurately. They don't seem to care about a human. Like even when they find Maisie in this situation, which I'm going to get to, the one guy is just like clicking so many photos. It's like a strobe light. So it's just, it's just like, you don't care if you don't care about any of their well-being at that point. They're just awful humans exploiting other humans. It's sort of like the stereotype of like the ambulance chasing lawyers. You just, just don't care. They're just, they're like the drudges of society, the scum at the bottom of the barrel. So the big twist is when they find her, she's in this rehab, like I said, what well, comes to find out the person that she hit is a werewolf and she's turning into a werewolf because there's going to be a full moon. So the show radically shifts tone and direction and everything, because when they find her, you're still not sure what's going on. She's chained up in this bed, clantily dressed. You know, like, is she, is she, is she in like a sex slave thing? Is she in traffic? Is she being trafficked? Is she being exploited? Is she into like some sort of snuff film? You don't know what's happening. And then suddenly, Oh, by the way, yeah, she's a werewolf. The transformation though, does pay some homage to American Werewolf in London and some good stuff. I have to be honest, it was pretty good. And some do good editing makes this very believable. And then she just starts going after people one at a time, one after a time. And of course, Bo and them are running from her, which is leading her towards other humans, putting other people in harm's way. And so put this diner scene and all that kind of stuff, which I got to be honest, I enjoyed all of that. So I, I, as I said in the first part, I don't really care too much about this setup because the entire premise, the interesting element actually happens at the end. This felt more like a Twilight Zone than some of the other Black Mirrors, like where, which are more like just thought-provoking experiments or interesting conflicts of, of morality, right? Like what would you do? And it, a very much like a binary con, you know, A plus B, which, which one, you, which is choose your worst adventure, you know, those kinds of situations. This is more like just, you're just kind of sucked up in the middle of a twilight zone. Episode. And I actually enjoyed this one. Um, or I should say, I rather, I really enjoyed the last half of this one. Didn't really care for the setup. Don't care about the paparazzi. I really don't care about Bo. I got to be honest. She's not particularly a likable woman. Um, none of the people around her, they're all the paparazzi are all expendable. I don't care about Maisie. Maisie Day is never shown other than just being a young starlet who's getting strung out on some drugs and booze. I mean, I, I, I mean, I don't really care that she's a werewolf now. I mean, I don't, you know, it's, it's like one of those kinds of things that, that that's in all of this. So um, I'm sure this ties into some other elements and Easter eggs and things that I'm not touching on. Feel free to hit me up with those in the comments. Tell me what you guys think. If you've been watching this, um, as I said, I could see during Halloween, this would be kind of one of those things I could bring up. Like, you know, if you love American werewolf in London or you like werewolf movies and transformations and like that, this was you know done pretty well. And maybe um, the director is a, as someone, it's a German um, director who mostly work in TV and stuff. Uh, Uta Briskowitz, I think is how you say the name, Briskowitz. Um, anyway, she, she's been in film and done stuff in Germany. So I have to be honest, I'd be interested to see if she was interested in going down like a horror genre. Like, would, would she be interested in doing something, you know, a Van Helsing werewolf type genre type thing? Because she seemed like she had a good nose for that at the end of this Serious. As far as all the human development and all that character development, she would need a lot of help. <laughs> that stuff didn't really land. But I think that's also script stuff. That's not actually all on her um, or her direction. I just don't feel like it. There was a whole lot there. I think um, Charlie Brooker's done better work um, in the first part of this, but that last part I really did enjoy. So anyway, that's my take on it. Love to hear your thoughts. Um, yeah, appreciate you so much for watching. I am Pops.